Hi, I'm Ed Sobey from Kids Invent. This is our first activity, Building Straw Towers. This activity can start with no introduction whatsoever. As students walk into the classroom, give them straws and tape, have them form their own groups of, one, of two or three people, and have them get started. The challenge is to build the tallest tower possible within the time allotted. So they need to get to the building right away. They'll have lots of other questions and I suggest you don't answer them. Let them build. Keep emphasizing that they need to think and design and build and they need to work very, very quickly to make mistakes as fast as they possibly can. While the teams are working, you can circulate amongst them and ask them uh, what are the features of their tower. For example, you might ask them, is this a garbage chute or is this a way for people to get down, a down escalator as well as a support? Uh, get their creative juices going. Ask them to name their tower. Every famous tower has to have a name. And by asking them to name it, you give them the opportunity to have some giggle time and to uh, have some fun with a name that they probably think that you won't like. And also, we get a little bit of a distance. So when you talk about their tower, you're not using their name, you're using the name for the tower. While they're building, walk around and measure the towers and explain to everyone how tall each tower is. That will be a motivator for them to keep going. And as time starts to run out, remind them that they only have five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. After the time has elapsed, go around the room, measure the towers, record that on the board with the tower name and the height of the towers, and ask each student team to introduce the tower and any special feature that it has. Then you can talk about the physics, the statics of it. For example, this one uses triangles. Other designs may not use triangles at all. But ask questions to get them to see why one tower is good and one tower may not have been so successful. The very last thing is we want to inspire them to go home and build their own towers. Not all of them will. In fact, maybe only 30 or 40 percent of the students will do this. But if we can get 40 percent of the students to go home and repeat the science experiment at home, maybe involving their parents or friends, then we have won big time and they will continue to learn. Thank you.